completed and it's working. However, there are certain things that we can still improve. If we come to our add to do, we notice that right now we're dispatching our action by manually passing in the action object inside here. We have to also remember what was the type and what were the other parameters required. Now suppose this was an action that you had to dispatch in multiple places in your application. You'd firstly have to duplicate this everywhere and you'd also have to remember the parameters. A better way of doing this would be to move all our actions into one file. So let's come here in our actions folder. Let's create a new file called index.js. Here what we'll do is we'll create functions for our two actions that we have. One is the add to do action and one is the toggle to do action. So we'll say export const add to do. The add to do will take one parameter, which is the text. So we pass in the text and then here we can pass in our action object. So the first thing we need is type, which is add to do. The second thing is the ID, which we can call the next ID and increment it by one. And the last thing we need is the text itself. So just as a recap, if you go to our to do's reducer, you remember here we had passed in this next ID and then we were updating it here. We can actually get rid of this next ID plus plus and just pass in action dot ID. And we don't even need an initial ID here. We'll do the setting up inside our action. So here let's put in our next ID. We'll say let next ID is equal to zero. And similarly, let's create our toggle to do by saying const toggle to do. What we need to pass in is the ID of the to do. The type is going to be toggle to do. And then we pass in the ID. So as you can see, this is much neater. All our actions are in one particular actions file. And now we can go into our add to do. And here, Let's import an add to do at the top. So we'll say import add to do from actions. And now we can completely remove this and just call our function by saying add to do and pass in our text. Similarly, if you go to our visible to do's here, we can import in our toggle to do method. So we'll say toggle to do from actions. And here we can get rid of this and just say toggle to do with the ID. If we save that out, we can still see that our app will work. But it's made our code much cleaner. And guess what? You just learned how to use action creators. Action creators are nothing but functions that help you manage your actions. It's just a name given by Redux for it. Similarly, there's one last thing that's left. That's action types. So let's come here. In our actions folder, create a new file called action types. So we're assuming that the next app that we create is going to be a huge app. We're going to have a lot of people using it. And since we've created action creators to manage our actions, why not also create something that can help us manage the name of our actions? Because if our app gets really big, we're going to be having multiple people creating actions. We don't want them to misspell our action name. And we also don't want someone to duplicate our action type. So for that, you can use something known as action types, which are nothing but constants. So inside our action types file, what we'll do is we'll just export const and we'll export constants, which are the names of our actions. So the first thing we need is add to do and we'll set that equal to add to do. And obviously I need to spell that as export. The next thing we need is export const toggle to do. And we set that to toggle to do. Now we can come into our actions file and here at the top, all we need to do is we need to import add to do and toggle to do from action types. And here we can replace these string fields with those constants. So that we've completed our to do application. We've also learned how to use action types and action creators, individual reducers, and also combined reducers. There's one thing that's left, which I'm going to leave to you to do. And that is to create the visibility filters so that you can show the completed to do's the incomplete to do's and all the to do's. So I hope you guys like this series and I hope you guys try this out. Please like share and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.